again. Oh, if you don't know me, my name is Ignis. Hello. So I'm back. I haven't been in here for a little while. I've put um, YouTube on hold because I'm a very busy person and this is not my priority. So I'm sorry, but I'm back. I'm going to Venice tomorrow and I'm super excited. I'm going to be there four days and of course I'm going to be drawing because why do I go to travel to draw? Um, and meet new people. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm going to challenge myself and I'm going to turn off all the social media. I'm going to offload my apps so I won't be tempted to use them because I think that I need like a nice social media detox. I would say that I want to do it so I can talk to people more, but I do anyway, so that's not the reason. The reason is it's just, I just want to see what, like, why I would go on there, if that makes sense. I think that the reason why I scroll social media is because I'm bored and it's not that I want to see what other people are up to. I mean, I do, but I think the main reason why I, I'm like, I've got my thought, like, the main reason why I've got the thought in my head, oh, let's grab my phone and see what's happening, is because I'm bored and that's what I think. And by doing that challenge, I will find out if that is what it is and see what else I could do and what else I'm gonna do instead. So then I can actually do it in my life, if that makes sense. I don't know if I'm making sense, am I? Anyway, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. The only, re the, um, only reasons why I'm gonna be using phones are emergencies, maps, vlogs and photos, which I'm gonna post later on. Um, I'm gonna have a, like a social media detox and then I will show you everything when I'm back. And I think I can do it. So I don't think it's gonna be a huge challenge. I don't really use the phone that much anyway when I'm away. So it shouldn't be a big challenge, but yeah, I'm super excited. So I will see you in Venice. I already got lost like four times, but never mind. Where the hell am I going? I don't know. Sorry, but I'm ill, so my throat isn't really working properly, and I don't want to be too loud because there are people sleeping next door. And um, so far, Ega versus Italy, Italy wins three to zero. Um, yesterday, I kept getting lost all the time. Um, I was so tired that when I went shopping, I broke a um, jar of olives in the shop. And I've just burned myself with a coffee. But it's fine. I was just gonna say that I'm not really the typical Venice girl, am I? I've got a flowy dress. I'm already sweating. I've got the natural glow on me. No makeup because what's the point? Is this just gonna uh, come right off me um yeah it's time to go i'm going to murano first then i'm going to burana <coughs> these are little islands just um side of venice okay guys officially it's four two zero oh my coffee it just went oh my bed and everywhere else you need a boyfriend or a good friend. I'm by myself in my tripod. Well, I said I had um tripod. I have a tripod. 
to help me take the photos, but it broke. <laughs> but luckily, I've got my drawing tape. <laughs> you know, mine very expensive design degree paid off. Grana is um, famous for the glass blowing and glass work. I don't understand either, and I just, um, but I'm not gonna check it out. I, I don't think it's my cup of tea. I'm not blow, blown away by the glass work, so I'm just gonna go around town and see if there's a nice place to draw. think that buildings should have this color like everywhere all the time like look at that doesn't it make you just feel happy and like they are so juicy I love it oh my god amazing look at my glow I am on a um, bridge called Ponte di Rialto, that is the view, everyone's taking selfies and pictures but I'm gonna run away from here because it's too many people. So I said I want to run away from tourists and you go through that jungle of people. Right. I just wanted to say that I haven't made a friend yet, I haven't made a friend, I always do, but I um, haven't met anyone, I will know, that's it, I accept and a very uh, nice older man, probably in his 70s. Uh, I was drawing his house and he came out and he gave me a glass of wine. He wanted to invite me inside, but I was like, no thanks, mate. Grazie. But no. Oh, yeah, there's no one in the host. I mean, there was a guy. Um, he looks friendly. He sleeps naked, though, and I do not appreciate that. But um, he doesn't speak English, so I can't even tell him, hey mate, don't sleep with no pants on. Um, I don't know which way to go now. Love that. Yeah, I think that way. <laughs> Honestly, I've been here a day and a half and I already got lost like 20 times. And I'm trying to not use the Google Maps because they don't really help either. So I'm just trying to use my own sense of direction and I think I think it's failing me <laughs> can we also appreciate my beautiful angles I'm just the best YouTuber ever Bonjour. Um, it's my third day in um, Venice um, don't want to speak to London because everyone is sleeping again um, it seems like I get up very early I don't, it's almost 10 o'clock, so it's them just sleeping very late. Anyway, I wanted to show you the kitchen because it's quite cool. When I was booking this hostel, I've seen pictures that it's a vegan hostel, which is quite unusual because I've never heard about this. And actually, they ask people not to cook meat here, which is, I think, quite nice, quite refreshing and new. Um, I didn't choose it because of that, I chose it because it was the cheapest one, but it's a nice addition. So I want to show you what they've got on their walls in a kitchen. 
kitchen with this me. You can see that drinking a coffee. Hopefully I'm not gonna burn my fingers today. So as you walk in, you've got that. Feel free to prepare your meals with love and compassion. Do not accept cooking meat. So that's quite cool, isn't it? And then you've got this little tree. So you've got why are you vegan? It's really nice. And then you've got why are you vegan? Save the planet for the health, save water for compassion, save lives and for love, which is quite nice. And then be kind to every kind, which I love. That's quite nice. And this, which quite interesting isn't it it's like if you're vegan you don't you actually are better like it's better for the environment so there we go people and then obviously you've got recycling which is great as well and i like that a healthy heart is a healthy mind it's really really nice can you please appreciate my makeup for your face because I feel so tired and I feel like what is this? What is happening here? Like look at the shadows. But I'm gonna embrace my own beauty and put sunglasses on and no one will see them. Inspired by different artists. Look how cool is that? Oh. See, the masks are everywhere in this country. You have it spooky. Spooky lady. They're coming to get me. in a new um, in the gallery and there are messages like a real toilet with messages on the wall And now I do the drawing and so it's time to go and eat my lunch because I am starving. Okay, look at, look at that craziness and then all of a sudden, I mean all of a sudden, then you do a contrast, you've got that ceiling. <laughs> I find it quite funny, but I bet he's a part of an outside the art movement. So yeah, if you are in Venice, make sure that you are going to stop at the um, European, oh, I can't see, European Cultural Centre. It's a free admission and there is loads of great art. So, and you can see um, a nice view from the rooftop and it's totally free to enter. So make sure that you're going to come here, but you need some time to um, walk around and take it all in. It's amazing. Great. Mom's playing the piano. And sadly it is my last day in Venice, so I'm just gonna spend this day drawing uh, all the beautiful buildings. 
I've decided, oh yesterday I had an epiphany of what I want to do with my life. I'm not telling you yet because I might change my mind, you never know. But I've got an idea of how I want to spend it. So it's going to be very exciting, I'm telling you. And next time I travel, I travel by train. With the rest of my money that I had left over, I just decided to support the fellow artists and about the beautiful painting. I will show you that later. And all of these paintings here look kind of the same, like they all have the same kind of style. But this one was absolutely gorgeous and very, very different. So I feel good about it. Supporting the poor artists. And when I finally, finally, thought that I don't need Google Maps to get to places or to one place, a particular place that I've been passing for like the last few days, my sense of direction failed me once again. But it's a beautiful day, it's such a lovely day, so I'm gonna sit on the stairs and draw, where is it, that behind me. Kind of a funny thing happened actually. And the guy who um, so me and Marana drawing just walked past and um, he said uh, that he really likes them and he thinks that he's a friend. We want to sell them in his shop in here so he um, told me to come with him so I did. And then they had an, a very um, intense discussion in Italian and I felt really um, awkward so I left. <laughs> So I have no idea what actually happened, but um, anyway, now I'm back in my um, spot and I need to finish my drawing, it's just so funny, but anyway, I don't know what's going on anymore, I'll see you later. So now I actually have got some time before the flight, so I can um, talk to you about the whole experience. Um, what I've learned is that in Venice you're not allowed to, uh, in the city, you're not allowed to drive or even cycle. It's uh, forbidden and you can't, like, you would get a fine if you do. So, um, what else can I tell you? Oh, I don't know if you know that I was doing a, well, I'm doing a plastic free um, July. So I was sure that it will be a problem in here because you when you travel it's not as easy it's not as simple to um, be plastic free there isn't a lot of um, like fresh food markets I did manage to not use too much plastic but I had to buy bread and that was wrapped in two plastic bags which I realized when I bought it two like why and um, like what for um, so yeah, just collected a few plastic bags and a pot um, of hummus. So it's not that bad. Now I hope I will do better when I get back home. Um, and all the social media uh, thing that I wanted to have a break. Well, I did have a break. I did have a like look at. Um, I would log in once a day. To just reply to messages um, but it wasn't urgent it's not like I did it because I had to does that make sense I didn't feel the urge I just when I had a little moment of I don't know waiting for something then I would just um, yeah log in and then uh, reply to messages but it wasn't like me scrolling down because I had nothing else to do I think that is just waste of time when I'm in this beautiful place What's the point just looking at the screen so yeah i hope you enjoyed it and i will see you next time i go somewhere one more thing and um i've been sitting in this square for a while drawing and it makes me really happy that i'm not the only person who gets lost there's so many people just trying to find their way and i'm sitting here and just laughing and it's not that I'm laughing that they can't find it, I'm laughing because I can't even help them because that wouldn't be any help because I have to, like, honestly, I just, I'm just so confused with this place. I went, well, I thought that I'm gonna, like, 
go towards my hostel and I basically did it in a circle and I spent an hour walking around in a bloody circle so it's not easy <laughs> when I got to my hostel to get my bag because obviously I left my backpack so that I didn't have to carry it all day um, I was gonna take my pasta that I had left over for today's um, dinner so if I can eat at the airport and it was gone and it turns out that I turned out that the girl who works in there understood that I said that she can eat it but what I actually said was oh there is some of my food in the fridge so I can have it later it's okay if I leave it but she bless her thought that I said um, there is some of my food left in the fridge, you can have it. Uh, she was kind enough to just um, cook me something so I can take it with me because obviously she ate it all. And um, I wouldn't have anything to eat and I'm gonna be home about 4 o'clock in the morning. Bless her.